Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Top 10 Nigeria. I'm here with Mr. Edet, the senior partner of Asteed Farms and Ranches. Mr. Edet, you're welcome to the program Top 10 Nigeria. Thank you very much. Mr. Edet, I've been amazed at the kind of organization that you have in this farm. I didn't know farm is now this well organized. What is the inspiration of running a farm like this? Well, um, thank you very much, the viewer. Uh, why we really go into agriculture is for we to see how we can put food on the table of, um, of Nigerians without spending so, so much. That is just the brain and aspiration why we go into farming. That's, that's a laudable effort. Um, here at uh, State Farm, what livestock do you raise here? We raise, uh, we are into pigree. We are into snail farming, we do a little of uh, uh, poultry, but basically uh, broilers. Okay. I've, I've walked around with you, uh, you have shown me where you raise the pigs, and we have discussed several things about uh, the pigs. However, um, the place where I am interested now is uh, the place where you raise the snails. I saw different sizes of snails. Let's talk about snails uh, for a change. The big snails that you have there, how long did you raise them? Well, uh, just to let the viewer know, know about what snail farming is really all about. People look at snail farming, a lot of people still believe that it's only from the, the, the farm, the forest, that you can go and pick snail. But I tell you, the snail has gone beyond that. We are, the snails have been dom domesticated, we are, we are, we are raising snail um, in in, in the farm now, not instead of going to the inside the bush and pick them. Yeah. Now, um, you see, in snail farming business, we have almost about three, we have a different species of snails. But basically what we have here in this part of the country is about three uh, different uh, uh, species, uh, species which, is, which is Ashantina, Ashantina, um, we have uh, Ashantina marginata, and we also have uh, Ashantina uh, yeah, so those ones you saw there, three of those species are there. So the, the biggest one, uh, what species is it? Is uh, the biggest uh, snail is um, Ashantina Ashantina. The next one is uh, uh, Ashantina marginata. We also have Ashantina uh, fuluka. All right, that's beautiful. Um, how long did it take for you to raise that snail from that small size to the big size? And did you raise it from the eggs? Yes, we started it from, we raised it from the snail, from the eggs. And as you can see, just like I told you about the, the pig farming, um, um, table size of each of these um, um, animals is basically depends on the person who is raising those things. You can, you can start selling your, your snail at six months. You can start selling them at eight months. You can as well leave it till maybe a year or after a year. But we advise people as a starter, you don't need to sell your snail because what you need is volume in snail farming. What you need is volume because if you start like maybe 10 snails, and let's say 10 snails um, lays like about three times or two times in a year and they lay in clutches, maybe there's, let's say, maybe like about three clutches in a year. And in, in each of these clutch, we have like about a 7-7 pay batch. A batch is a seat of lay, you understand? So maybe let's say we have average of eight, you understand, pay a seat of lay. So if you multiply that by three, or let's even just bring it down to two, two clutches in a year. So that means you have like about 16. So if you now multiply 16 times maybe 10, 10 um, snails that you store. That means you have like almost about 160 uh, snails. So now, if you leave that 160 snails, hmm, again, you now multiply, you do the same multiplication for the, for, matured, ones. For the matured ones of 100 and 160. You understand? You, you, 160 times uh, 18 or 16 you will now see that you are counting in thousands. You understand? Mind you, the 10 that you started with is still there. there. 
and they are still also producing yeah. as this one is producing yeah. those ones who are producing so if you now times it let's say for example they are selling each um, snail at the rate of let's say 600 naira for for breeding stock if you multiply 600 times the number of the snail that you have in your farm you know you are counting in millions you understand so snail farming business is a very uh, lucrative business that we trying to advise young men to go into it it's only that he has his own challenges but if you do it right i am telling you you will be smiling to the bank every day what are the challenges running a snake farm? Well, the challenges running a snail farm is one. Basically, you have to, um, you know, quarantine your, your farm very well so that predators will not enter. Things like red lizard, you understand, they are, they are threats to, to snails. Snake, um, this is soldier ants. Those are things that you should really, you understand, um, 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 guide against you understand you monitor them you monitor the snake so that those things will not get access to the farm you understand then you have to try as much as possible to keep the farm wet you understand no water lock wet that is moist let the, the farm be moist you understand when the farm is moist you see that they will be doing very well even in the rice season I'm very curious what does a snail eat Yes, we, we process their snail if you want them to grow fast. We have formula for them. Oh, they have formula. Yes, we have formula for them. But if you can't afford the formula, because the more money you put, it will now reduce, reduce the, 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 duration. The, the duration for maturity. You understand? Because if you were supposed to mature in, in 12 months, with the formula, it will be maybe like between 6 and 8 months. You understand? Now, you, the, but uh, you can also go organic by, you know, they eat almost all sort of fruit. They eat tubers. They eat leaves, water leaf, mango leaf, um, banana leaf. In, in fact, banana and plantain leaf are basically very good for them. Because, you see, basically, the plantain leaf that you have seen inside the farm there, we are using it basically for um for retention of water because when you put water the leaves retain the water for a very long time so the leaf you understand they hide under the leaf that wet leaf you understand so that will prevent them from any anything you understand they hide there and they feel comfortable living under those uh, dry basically i prefer dry leaves they eat the dry leaves and also the dry leaves also serve as a shade for them. And they also, because it retains water, so they also dr drink the water from there. All right, that's beautiful. A shot. When, as I'm listening to this and hearing this, it gives me joy because personally I'm thinking of how I'm going to start one of those farms. Because I saw the thing, it's something that you can actually, you know, put in your compound and monitor it. Yeah. You have given me inspiration. I'm sure the viewers out there have been inspired by the information they got from you today. The hygiene here is wonderful. The organization is wonderful. The business angle of the farm is one business. This is farming business for 2020. Mr. Dead, thank you very much for talking with us. And I'm sure our viewers will want to contact you in order to make purchase, in order to receive consultation. And I hope you're open to that. Thank you. Um, we have farm is uh, open 24 hours. Uh, anytime you come, you have a larger farm, a bigger, a big farm. This is just like an outlet where people come in here to get what we we bring from the main farm Sorry. to here to uh, this side because the main farm people cannot really have access to uh, to the place. So we bring those uh, those ones, the product from there to the this uh, this side where we actually sell them off. So anytime our office is always open, you contact us with the number, the contact number you will see on the screen. Then we. We will, we will take off from there. Thank you very much. We appreciate talking with us. All the best.